Yo, what is going on guys? Jack here, and welcome to episode 84 of our Tracksuit to the Top series here with Lewis FC in the Premier League. Hopefully you guys are good. Today I have a few good games to review, and then we're going to get straight into today's live con, which is against Manchester City, who I guess at the end of last episode would look like one of our title rivals, but have recently fallen off the pace. Anyway... Let's have a look at the fixtures. Last episode, of course, was against Manchester United. If you missed it, go check it out as always. I'm not going to review all of the games in this kind of uh, batch of results in detail because it really has been a little over two months since the last episode. Um, I'll just cover the Champions League real quick. So we made it out of our group with five wins and um, one defeat in our six games. Uh, as you can see, Matthew Lewis, top goal scorer in the competition with 13. Sonogo right up there with five assists too. And Sores. Uh, with three player of the matches, a player who came in last year for 20 million, really, really, really struggled, slowly kind of picked things up towards the end of the year. This year he's come into the side, he's been a completely different player. As you can see, 12 goals in 14 starts and five appearances off the bench. Really impressive. Six goals in the league and also uh, four goals in uh, continental competitions, hence his uh, kind of player of the matches. So anyway, that's kind of what happened there. Our only defeat came against Inter where we lost 3-1. Uh, looking at the league, since the Manchester United game, you can see we've only lost what the one game. We did draw one over against Fulham. We kicked things straight off after the Manchester United game by bouncing back with a 4-1 win against Arsenal. It was actually quite a close game. The main difference between the sides was simply how clinical we were. Soros grabbing two and grabbing the Man of the Match award there. Uh, we also then went on to lose 3-1 to Liverpool. Liverpool, one of two unbeaten teams in the Premier League uh, at the halfway stage almost, which is kind of impressive, really. You can see here they beat us quite comprehensively. We were 1-0 up, and I thought we were kind of destined, I guess, to just see the game out. However, um, you, they kind of put us to the sword in the end. The fact that Kuriku got man of the match in goal really kind of indicates kind of how the game went, I guess. But regardless, it was disappointing, but... It, it, at least we bounce back, I guess. You can see here Liverpool are in second in the league and Manchester United, who we have today in fourth. West Ham in third, unbeaten, but with six draws in their first 14. Anyway, the next result was in the Capital One Cup where we beat Bournemouth on penalties. Rather fortunate there. That booked us a spot in the quarter-final. Uh, the only other time we slipped up in the league was a 2-2 draw against Fulham. Really disappointing this game, really... Uh, a game that we dominated, we deserve to win. Uh, right, Meyer getting the man of the match award. The German has been kind of a uh, an essential part of our team this year, still improving. The 21 year old, you can see here, 7.5 average rating uh, so far this season. Putting in a lot of tackles. One issue I am having with him is because he's playing pretty much every game. He's really struggling for fitness and he has got an injury as a result of that. Also worth noting that there is some interest hotting up in him. But I'm hoping to tie him down to a long term deal uh, in the near future. Anyway, we then got wins against Brighton and Norwich. Uh, kind of the usual suspects getting the goals. Matthew Lewis with a goal in each uh, the next result was against uh, Newcastle in the league, and we beat them 2-0. Again, Matthew Lewis performing well. China as well doing well. China, of course, came into the side um, a few years ago. He's actually been complaining about lack of first-team football, but he's a really useful player to have because he covers so many positions for us on off the bench. And um, I'm going to try and feed him into the first team perhaps a little bit more, maybe try and get rid of his unhappiness. Um, but yeah, we'll see how things go. I mean, there are clubs interested um, I've currently set the asking price at 30 million, but a bid in the region of 20 million, I'd probably have to accept. Anyway, we then got our favourite scoreline seemingly this year as we won 5-2 against Stoke, not for the first time. Soros grabbing a hat-trick here. Uh, also worth noting that Giancarlo Martinez grabbed a goal. Done really well, this guy. Came in at 19 years old. We spent 10 million on him. A pretty hefty fee for a player who was unproven at a big team. But so far this year, five goals for him and two assists from the right midfield position is uh, nothing to be ashamed of. He's performed really, really well. And uh, he's looking like a good investment already. And, uh, well, he got a goal here, didn't he? Anyway, uh, one last game against Cardiff. Uh, a good result, an expected result, I guess, to some extent. We really dominated the game. They did have a man sent off towards the end. Matthew Lewis with two, Giancarlo Martinez grabbing one, and Sonogo grabbing uh, himself a goal. He's got a fair few this year. I mentioned a few episodes ago how he was on course to surpass his kind of performances of last year. You can already see he is way, way on the way to kind of doing that and more. Seven assists and five goals in the league. Um, and really kind of just been a, an incredible player for us this year. This year has involved a lot of players really stepping up. 
Anyway, looking at the squad going into today's game, we have got a few injuries. Pedrera's injured. He's out for four to five days with a bruised head. Uh, he Nacho's out uh, for two months, which is a real kind of shame because when we have used him on off the bench and just as kind of a player to start as a rotation option, he's done really well. Five goals in six games, or six starts rather, is really impressive and four assists too. And right, Myra, as I've already mentioned, out for a little while. Anyway, look at the average ratings. It's not really a surprise who's top of the chart charts. Matthew Lewis having the season of his life tipped to potentially win the World Player of the Year award. The 25-year-old's been in superb form. He got his first two goals for England, which is really, really pleasing. And you can see here, 19 goals in 14 league games. He's also got 13 in 8 in continental competitions, resulting in a total goal goals tally for the season so far in December of 32, which is absolutely ludicrous. Anyway, elsewhere, Soros, as I mentioned, really contributing with some goals. Besides that, we've not had a load of players scoring a ton of goals. Alexander Haas has done pretty well in his first season at the club. Uh, played him a little bit more than I expected in the right mid position. He's not been superb in the league, but in continental competitions, he has got five in seven. So uh, a good player for us when we have called upon him. So anyway, uh, let's get into today's game. As I mentioned, we're taking on Manchester United, who are in fourth. Um... Obviously, we have a few injuries, so we have to shift around our team a little bit, but it's still a very, very strong squad at our disposal. Um, pretty happy with the overall squad balance. You can see by the morale in the camp, with the exception of China and maybe Imbert, who I'm kind of looking to sell just because he hasn't developed during his time at the club. Um, we're looking pretty darn good. The squad balance is really nice. I'm not having to juggle players around. It doesn't feel like I have to field a weakened team in order to make sure people are playing games. Everyone kind of has a part to play, and um, the squad balance just feels really, really good at the moment. So anyway, let's get into today's game against Manchester City. You can see looking at their team, they've got uh, Kerry and um, Zivkovic. Uh, up front, they've got Koke, Gaston Gil Romero, and Yuri Tillemans in midfield. I guess that'll be Ricardo Rodriguez, will it be? Yeah, it is Ricardo Rodriguez. Um... Nastasic, they've, they've got some pretty good, big names, and Scuffer uh, too as well, who's a very good goalkeeper in FM. So this isn't going to be easy, but they have struggled recently, Man City. I feel like I mentioned the fact that we were playing Man United today earlier in the live comms, someone's probably already written it in the comments saying, you said United, I'm sorry City and United fans, it's because I played United last episode, my brain is not working, it's before 12 in the afternoon, or midday rather, so my brain's not quite fully in gear but anyway, hopefully my team's in gear here as we are on the attack cars. What a run. What a run. Oh, if only you could have buried that. That would have been an incredible goal after 23 seconds. Uh, but a good start, I guess. And we have a set piece here. Matthew Lewis whipping in the ball. Batchford clears it. Back out wide to Lewis. Lewis, can you put in the ball? Can you put in the ball? Oh, okay. Just shoot. J just do that. That's fine. Four minutes in. Matthew Lewis with a goal. This guy cannot be stopped. If he was to win the World Player of the Year, it would be entirely justified. He's been absolutely incredible. I do not know many players, and I don't recall seeing many players who'd have the balls to shoot from that kind of angle against one of the best goalkeepers in the world. Places it into the bottom corner, hits it hard and low. Now can we defend? That is the, the next question, I guess. That's going to be the test today. We never defend well. We always concede, so we have to score more than one. But uh, we've got off to a good start here, although they've got a chance. Zivkovic heads over from inside the six-yard box. That is a really bad miss there. Is Man City missing out on a real clear cut opportunity? And they have another chance here. Rodrigo Rod to Rodriguez, and they do get the goal there. Ricardo Rodriguez with his first goal of the season. Disappointing defending from the set piece. Not only to miss the first ball, but then to just not kind of despite all the men in the box, I guess, be able to intercept that pass, just a little bit slow and just really poor tight mark, and I guess you could argue with the, the full-back there as he found some space in the box to just pass it home. But anyway, we, we were always going to concede. Looking at the stats, we're not doing too bad. We're having a little bit more of the ball. We've had a few more shots, but of course, game is still 50-50. But with Matthew Lewis in the side, it feels like any half chance can go in. So who knows? 25 minutes gone. Not too many highlights since the initial two early goals, although another set piece here. Harayan, Famika, and that is blocked off the line. That was a real chance. The initial ball put in by Matthew Lewis, nodded on by Harayan, and then in the box, there was just there just wasn't the finish there. Too many men between ourselves and goal, and it was blocked in the end, disappointingly. But looking at the stats, we are dominating now. 60% possession, 16 shots in total. 
but we need to turn this spell of dominance into something strong. If we could get a goal just before half time, that's going to change the complexion of our team talk and also hit Man City hard. We're on the attack here. Batagelli, Suarez, Haas, can he put in a ball? He can. Matthew Lewis headed away to Juan Carlos Leon. Leon, bang, pick that out. He scores some wonder goals in our live comms, it feels like. He never seems to score when I'm not live comming. But Juan has got Juan there for us uh, and made it 2-1 just before half time. Initial ball put in by Haas. Headed away. Looked like the danger might have gone. But Juan Carlos Leon on his left peg just places it in off the post. You could not ask for it to be put in a better spot than that. Scuff it in goal for Man City. Looking a little bit underwhelming, you'd have to say, for a player of his quality. And there's another chance here before half time as Matthew Lewis has the ball. Martinez. Suarez. Bang! Pick that out. 3-1. Suarez, a player who struggled so much this kind of last year, but this season, completely different player. He's been confident. He's been playing kind of in a new system, a system that I kind of feel like suits him better. And um, he gets the support, I guess, the midfield. And that's something that's benefited Matthew Lewis as well, I feel like. We've committed a few more men into the midfield. We're winning a lot more of the midfield battle this season with our new tactic. The three at the back does leave us slightly more exposed at the back, but you can see in games like this that it's just working for us. The team is playing really well. We're 3-1 up at home against Man City, who had done very, very well this year. And it's looking very, very convincing as Haas is on a run here. Surely we can't score straight from kickoff. Martinez whips the ball. We can't. Nastasic going to intercept that, and that will be all she wrote for that highlight. But looking at the stats... This is a dominant performance. We are just outplaying them at this moment in time. We've had almost 60% of the ball against Manchester City, which even at home is a feat. And now Harry Young gets on a near post header, makes it 4-1. His first goal of the season, the centre-back, the Armenian. A player who's kind of been in this squad for a long time. He's getting on a little bit now, aged 30, 31 or 32 this is the last year of his contract. I need to weigh up if I want to extend it, but he's just been such a loyal servant and it's really good to see him kind of contribute with goals like that because he's a very good player. He's not incredible. He isn't one of the stars of our team. None of the defence really is. I guess you could argue perhaps that Wright Meyer is becoming kind of the, the, the star of the defence. But uh, yeah, good to see Harayan get a goal there. Let's make some changes here. I'm going to bring off Sores for uh, China, just to get China some game time, but also because Sores is looking a little bit tired. Juan Carlos Leon as well isn't looking 100%. So I'm going to bring on Mitchell for a little bit, and we'll save our one sub just in case we get any injuries. I have been using a few triple subs lately, and it feels like whenever I've done it, a player on my team has got a knock. Um... So we'll we'll play it safe. We'll leave that one kind of sub available. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to be all she wrote for this game. 4-1. What a performance. Maybe one last goal here from a set piece. Nope. Scuff it. Going to mop that up. That should be GG. But what a great performance. Manchester City coming into this game. I mentioned the fact they've not been in the best form. They were right up there at the top of the table. But they have slipped away recently. And today, we've met them on, a, I guess, a good day to play them, and we've just performed very, very well. We've been clinical with the chances. We've had some fine, fine finishes. Debatably, some questionable goalkeeping and defending by them. But regardless, it's very pleasing. We're on the attack here. Can't get another, unfortunately. Maybe the ball can still go into the box. No goes out wide. He whips it in. Matthew Lewis Haas scores. It's five. It's the magic number this year. And um, what a performance by the team. We've outplayed Manchester City here. Sonogo whipping in the ball. Haas is there from the rebound after Lewis's initial effort and we make it 5-1. And that is going to crush Manchester City into the ground. What a performance. What a game. Very, very pleased with that one. And Matthew Lewis getting the man of the match award as well with two assists and a goal. So anyway, uh, that's going to wrap things up for today, guys. Uh, as you can see, we go top of the table having played this early kickoff. Five points now clear of Liverpool and West Ham, who are both unbeaten. Uh, I think the next game is going to be against reigning champions Chelsea. Um, they currently sit in seventh, 15 points behind us. Obviously, they have that game in hand, but they've definitely not been the team that they were last year. So we'll have to see how we get on against them. You can see, looking at their fixtures... A really rough patch of form. So this is probably a good time to play them. Particularly when you also consider they've got to play the likes of Liverpool. Uh, who are currently unbeaten 
in the league beforehand. So anyway, uh, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next episode. If you have enjoyed this video, please do smash the like button. It does greatly help me out. Uh, and other than that, it is me, Jack, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.